Hey everybody, today I'm showing you four cool Chestnut chess computers. This is the Chestnut Air, which was the original one that they introduced a while back. The Chestnut Air Plus is the wooden version that was released just recently. The Chestnut Pro is the 55 centimeters. It's the tournament size board. All these three are similar. The Chestnut Air Plus and the Chestnut Pro have invisible lights. So you don't see them when you're playing. They just come on when you have to make a move for yourself and your computer. And this is the Chestnut Evo, which has a 12.3 Android tablet on the side. Now, because this has its own Android tablet, you don't have to actually use it with a smartphone. Those three work with your iPhone Android device. Whether it's the official Chestnut app or applications such as White Pond that give you access to a Stockfish, you can use it with those boards. You can also connect them to your computer. This has an Android tablet, so you can access applications. You can train your engine. You can have a career mode. Let's see what's inside. So these two boards are about the same size. You can also fit them next to this and they're about the same size as this board right here, except that they don't have the tablet on the side. Let's see if I open them. This has these dots here that actually light up when you have to make a move. But this one, it's a little bit different. The pieces, but then you have this board here doesn't have those dots three boards have this interface so you have your USB-C charging port you have your button to turn it on Bluetooth is status and power indicated lights so these three are similar in that regard the chestnut pro is very similar except that it's tournament size it's sort of like your DGT chess board the large one just like the other ones it has that similar interface this is sort of like a larger chestnut air plus the chestnut evo has a little bit of a different design these are your buttons you have your android tablet here this is about the same size as your chestnut air chestnut air plus all of these have a smart piece recognition so they know exactly which piece you're picking up it's great for studies if you're seeing something in the book and you want to quickly analyze it this is everything that you get the Chestnut Air, Chestnut Air Plus, Chestnut Pro, and Chestnut Evo. When you are connected, it's gonna go and stop flashing. For us this, just have to hold this button and it will turn on. What I like about this is just the fact that you don't have to use a smartphone. This one is huge, so it's actually great for tournaments. Pieces are top notch. These are like the mini versions of it. Whereas the Chestnut Air just has a different design, a slightly different design. And the Chestnut Evo has these white and black color, sort of plastic like, but all of them are smart. The Chestnut Evo, you can go and play online match on one of these platforms. You can play against the stuff, basically the Chest Zero and Maya. G1, F3. I'm not actually playing a good opening, just a test. C1, F4. You can do analysis. You can do evaluation of e the moves. E3. So when I pick that up, it's gonna actually show different moves. F4, H6. So that's the correct move, whereas these are all not correct. With these, you're gonna to have to use your tablet. Here, you just have to connect it to your Bluetooth device. Once you're connected, you can change LED light and other settings. You can also go and play online. You can play Chess 960 on all these boards. Let's just select that. It has eight levels for you to choose from. So if I move this, I can actually use this piece. Let's just try that. The LEDs are hidden under the board. So when I pick this up, that little light there disappears. With this one, with the Chestnut Air, that dot is always there. So that's the main difference between these two and also the size, but they use the same app. It's the same ecosystem. And I can share this online with others to follow. So that's nice. You can get a URL to share with others. This is a browser. This is not the Chestnut Air or Chestnut Pro's interface. So if I play this move here, it's gonna show up there. And this is the way 
your fans if you're doing streaming for example just want to share your games with others your fans can keep up with you on the internet without any special software they just have to get the link and they can follow your games now i'm gonna play a game between a couple of these two i can't play with them all because only one device can link to them you're gonna need three tablets to actually have all of these going i have only one here so i'm gonna use one of them just use chestnut pro for example with the chestnut evo and let's see how it turns out what i found out from my test is that the default engine with the chestnut app is not as strong as the stockfish on the chestnut evo even though you can actually get white pond and has a very strong stockfish engine so i'm going to use that i'm going to use an opening that maybe not as sound and let a stockfish play with that and then see how it turns out to do this i'm going to go to a study i'm going to go to board editor and this is the bird gambit So this is the starting position. I've seen this a bunch of times online. Even when I play Stockbridge, sometimes it actually uses this. Here, I just have to give it the max rating of 30 by 90. I want to play black. I want the Stockbridge here to play white. And then edit the board. This side, black is to play, so I have to choose that. Just want to be careful. I want to play white here, Stockfish. I give it 3200, max is 3190, so it automatically goes there. I can change the amount of time it's gonna think. You can see that has voice.
This is pretty much over. I'm gonna have two extra pawns, and the computer always vents positions like this easily. I'm just gonna. H5, G7. So this is pretty much over. I could just stop it right now. F6. Just gonna take the pawn. There are too many passed pawns. Black doesn't really have any moves. One of these pawns is gonna queen. You can even protect the pawn or just promote the other one. It really doesn't matter. H4, H5. So it's just gonna decide to queen. Black can't stop both of them. I just stopped the game, it's not really worth continuing. It's made in 22, as you can see. With the Starfish, you can import the game and analyze it on Lee Chess. And here, it just wants to move there. This was an overview of these boards. So the Chestnut Pro, that was the Chestnut Evo. I covered the Chestnut Air, Chestnut Air Plus earlier in the video. The other boards are very similar to the Chestnut Pro. It's just a matter of size. All use the same application. So no matter which one you play, you're gonna end up with a similar experience, just they're a little bit smaller. For more information, please go to gadgetify.com, also youtube.com and gadgetify. Don't forget to check the description for more information. Thanks for watching.